Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, Lazy Designs here, and in this tutorial we're going to go through how to create a grass text that looks exactly like this. Um, this tutorial should take you about an hour to create if you follow along, maybe a bit longer, depends on how advanced um, you are at Photoshop and how quick you're able to follow along. Um, so let's get started. Um, before we start making stuff, I'm just going to show you um, what's, what we're going to be creating. Um, so this is the um, project file. I'll probably attach this to um, a download link so you guys can have a look at it yourself. So in the first part we're going to be creating the background um, which is which looks like this. So it's just a few grunge um, textures laid on top of each other with different, different opacities. And then obviously we are using two gradients to give it a nice green effect. And also we're gonna create this nice little border um, that makes it a bit darker if it's not dark enough. After that, in the next part, we're gonna go through how to create the grass text. Um, and for that, we're gonna use a font that looks like this and based on that font we're going to use that as a base for our cutout um, of the grass text and then to the grass text we're going to apply um, some effects that you can see here we're going to apply some uh, shadows and so on so this is what we're going to get after we cut it out and then after we're going to apply some shadows and so on and then a couple of effects just to give it some more depth and a better look. So let's crack on with the first part. We're going to be creating the background. So by the end of this tutorial, you should end up um, with something like this. So if you just go to create a new file, and also I don't have to tell you this, um, that this is for the advanced Photoshop users. So if you feel like you can't fight along, make sure you go back to my beginner series, watch all of those and by the end of them you should be able to follow along very easily because I'm not going to be explaining every little thing in this um, because it's aimed for advanced users obviously. So you're just going to create a new file, we're going to call it um, grass text and also if you can hear this clicking um, I'll try to reduce it as much as I can in um, post production but if, I, if you can still hear this clicking noise that's actually my keyboard, so I'm sorry about that if you can still hear it. This is um, as much as I could reduce it in post-production, so um, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, let's get on. So the name Grass Text, we're going to make it um, 1920 pixels by 1200 and 72 resolution. Um, click OK. And the first thing we're going to do is unlock our layer. Double click. OK. And obviously we're going to start off with our gradient. So click on your gradient tool and I'll just show you quickly what color we are using. So bottom left is ADBF41. So if you just copy that and paste into your gradient, you also get the same color. And the bottom right is, ooh, if I didn't get rid of that, let's do it again. Um, the bottom right is 328A26, so copy and paste that in there and you will get the same colour. So after you've got that gradient set up, you should something like this. And then after that, we're just going to put it in the top left corner somewhere so it gives us a nice um, gradient. So if you just click and drag, we should get something like this, maybe make it a bit bigger, like so. Yeah, I quite like that, so that's my gradient. And straight after that, we're going to start bringing in our textures. Um, I'm going to be bringing them in from my second screen, but obviously most of you should be able to know how to open up a file and put it into a, a new file, so I'm not going to go through that. Um, I'll give you links to the, some of the textures that I've used, um, and you can download them yourself and use the same ones, or you can use different ones. It's up to you how you want your... Um, gradient, I mean the texture to look like. So I'm just going to bring in my first one and I'm going to resize it so it looks exactly like 
how I want it. If I didn't mess it up, there we go. So hold down shift, and then I'm just gonna resize it for the right size, like so. And because it's a smart layer, the quickest way I find to get rid of that, I can go right click and then um, um, make it into normal layer. But I just normally just make a new layer right on top of it, select the two, control E to merge it and that gets rid of the um, smart layer thing. So after I get rid of that I'm going to desaturate it by holding down control shift and U and then I'm going to set it to overlay and leave the opacity at 100% for now. Now after I get that I'm going to duplicate this layer so control alt up arrow and now I got a duplicate of that but instead of leaving it as it is I'm just going to hold down Control T and hold down Shift and just rotate it around 180 degrees so it gives me a bit of difference and also I'm going to change the opacity to about 60% and um, that way it's not going to be too intense. Now after we got our two textures I'm going to go on and bring in another one straight away so I'm going to use this one next. We're going to probably use about six to eight layers um, for our texturing. So it's this exact same process. You're going to bring in the texture, resize it so it's the right size, like so. Create a new layer, merge the two together to get rid of. Control Shift U to desaturate, set it to overlay. I'm going to just move it on the top and for this one I'm going to change the opacity to about 50% just so it's not too intense and again control alt up arrow to duplicate rotate it around and I will just set the opacity for this one to about 30% like so so now we got four textures I'm just going to bring in one more so I got six so I might bring in eight um, so now that I've got this one in, just going to resize it, exact same process, create a new layer, just merge the two together, control shift U, set it to overlay, where am I, there we go, change the opacity to about 50%, uh, maybe a bit more because it's quite intense. Yeah, 30% should do it. And I'm not going to duplicate this around this time because I think this gives me enough look that I want. Instead, I'm just going to bring in another texture that I haven't used yet. Probably this one, just to give me some more graininess. Like so. Just going to move it around again so it's the right size. Create a new layer. Merge the two together. Control Shift U to desaturate, set it to overlay, and then just change the opacity to about 50, 40% maybe for this one. I mean, you can change, you can play around with the opacity on these layers, it's up to you, it's up to your preference. So, um, whatever you like the best, you can change it around to that. And I'm just going to bring in one more texture um, just to make it a little bit more different. Um, resize again, create a new layer, merge the two together, control shift U to desaturate, set it to overlay, and then just change the opacity to about 30% should do for me. And I'll just move this one on the top again. So now that we got our Text change sorted, you should end up with something looking similar to this or whatever you want your grungy paper to look like. But it looks a bit too grungy for me, so what we're going to do is duplicate this gradient layer by holding down Control alt up arrow and just move it on the top. Set it to overlay, like so, and just pump down the opacity to about 30, maybe 40%. Yeah, 40% should do for me. And now we got our gradient sorted. But what I wanted to do next is just make the edges a bit darker. I mean, it's already quite dark from the uh, from the textures, but we'll make it a bit more darker. And also, I'm just gonna 
pump this down to about 30% because I think it was a bit too much. So what we're going to do is create a new layer, the very top, sorry to overlay, pick um, a quite big brush, soft brush, quite big one, maybe about, um, that should do it. And we're also going to change the opacity to about 30% for our layer, like so. And then we're just going to start painting in the edges, like so, and that makes it a bit darker as you can tell around the edges. Um, and I'm using a quite big soft brush just to make it easier to um, play around with it. So after we got that, I just it looks something like that. So it's only a little bit of a difference, but it's enough once it's on top of all these, as you can tell, it makes it quite dark. But what we're going to do is we're going to apply a couple of filters um, to it just to make it blend a little bit more. So if you come up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just set it to about 32 pixels, should do the trick. And that makes it blend a little bit nicer um, with everything else. So I quite like that. Now I think we got our background sorted. So what we're going to do is create a new group, grab everything in here, put in a group and just name it back. background textures and gradient. So now that we got our background sorted, this episode of this series is over. In the next series we're obviously going to start making our grass texture. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you share it with your friends, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.